Hey, what's up guys? Fabio here once again. I want to welcome everybody back to another video and today I'm coming at you with another paid request. Uh, this is from Bruh It's Stipe who wanted me to take a look at two albums by The Pretty Reckless. So today we are going to be talking about their second album, Going to Hell, which I did not think I knew anything from, but there is one, one of the singles I was listening I'm like oh I do know this song um, but the other album I have heard a little bit of but yeah he wanted me to take a look at two of their albums and the first one that we're gonna be talking about again is their second album going to hell which I did like from start to finish front to back back to front finish to start whatever you want to call it I did really like it there was a lot of really good songs there was one song that I had some issues with which we will cover but other than that, I actually really like the album. Um, and again, thinking that I had never heard anything from it before, you know, which I did, I ended up, I, I did end up hearing some stuff from it before. Uh, can't really complain, so there you go. But before we jump into this, as always, if anyone else would like to submit a paid request, you may do so down below in the description box. There is a link to my PayPal account and my face itches. I apologize. No amount is too big, no amount is too small, it does not have to be just a movie review, it could be a TV series, cartoon, comic book, video game, music, random thoughts, ranch streams, commentaries, and anything in between. That's what the paid request is set up for. So again, if any of you are interested, go ahead, send it in, and I will get to it as soon as I possibly can. For those of you that have sent them in before, thank you. I greatly appreciate it. it. means you guys actually care about what I say and do here on the channel, and you want to see me try some different things. It does motivate me to keep wanting to make videos, so it's a win-win for everybody. You guys get more of the type of videos that you want to see me cover here on the channel. I keep making them, and at the end of the day, everybody goes home happy, just like they used to say at Blockbuster. So, thank you. But The Pretty Reckless. Now, I had not known who they were until last year, right? Last year, 2022. Because, oh, now, now it wants to upload the picture to the album. <laughs> Just looking at my Apple Music. Yeah, I think it was last year. Or maybe it was 2021. I'm thinking it was 2022. No, it might have been 2021 when the next album that I'm going to talk about came out because uh, guys like Jim Florentine on Sirius XM and Eddie Trunk were playing some stuff off of that album, so I got a chance to hear it. So I didn't know who they were. Um, but I found out that Taylor Momsen is the singer. Now people were like, who's Taylor Momsen? Taylor Momsen... Uh, she used to be an actress. I think she has since retired from acting and is just doing strictly music. But she played Cindy Lou Who in The Grinch, the Jim, the Jim Carrey version of The Grinch. And she was in some other stuff. I think she was on that TV show Gossip Girl. I never watched any of that. Not my cup of tea, obviously. But she had done a bunch of stuff, and then I think she stopped acting to focus on music and then she started this band the pretty reckless so i didn't really know much about them until a couple of years ago a year or two ago when their uh previous album came out i think their previous album and that'll be the one that we cover next which is called death by rock and roll which i like what i've heard i have not heard the whole album but i remember reading somewhere like some bullshit article it was like the little girl from the Grinch is all grown up and she worships the devil. And I'm like, okay, here we go with this shit. But I have like what I have heard so far from the group. I think they're a good band. I think Taylor Momsen has a great voice. I really enjoy her singing. And yes, she is very attractive, so can't go wrong with that either. But she is a good singer. And all this shit that you hear from these these idiots. Well, it wasn't until a couple of years ago when there were no females in rock music. Du, 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 which we all know is bullshit because uh, Joan Jett's been around forever. Uh, Lita Ford's been around forever. 
Um, you know, I guess Tina Turner never sang rock songs. You know, I guess she didn't matter. Um, let's see, who else? Um, hmm, hmm. Courtney Love, as much as I don't like her, you know, but she was around. Um, hmm. Meg White has been around for quite a while. Hmm. You know, I could do this all day. So I hate that that bullshit argument, you know, there were there were no women in rock. I'm like, okay, so I guess Linda Ronstadt didn't sing rock songs and you know, the G Hmm, let's see. Hmm, who else? Um I guess Patty Smythe doesn't count. I guess Pat Benatar doesn't count. So yeah. I don't know where all this stupid bullshit revisionist history comes from but apparently it's out there i guess amy lee from evanescence hasn't been around for a while mm, that's strange anyway let's move on but uh, this was their second album that came out in 2013 i believe and again i know i'm looking at my phone but i just want to have all my p's and q's correct here 2014 well this is the deluxe edition so this says 2014 here, but let me just pull it up on the old Wikipedia. Because I think it was 2013, if I'm not mistaken. No, it's, it's okay, so it all came out 2014, March 12th. Because you know how it is, the deluxe edition will come out later, but this came out in 2014. So, yeah, but I really enjoyed this album. I liked I liked all the songs, but there was one song where I had an issue with, which we'll cover. But the song that I had heard before was Heaven Knows, which was one of the singles off here. Because I'm listening to this song, and then like the chorus comes in with the uh, the chorus singers, not the chorus of the song. The chorus of the song has chorus singers in it. Does that make any sense? <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I have heard this before, and I didn't realize that it was the Pretty Reckless, but that was cool. That was the song. Um, I just had it up here. Heaven Knows. And I, th I was reading they used it in some Marvel show that I've never seen, but I had heard it before. But the track listing is as follows. Follow Me Down, which was a good opener. Going to Hell, the title track was good. Heaven Knows, House on a Hill, Sweet Things is the song that I had an issue with, which we'll cover. Dear Sister, Absolution, Blame Me, Burn, Why'd You Bring a Shotgun to a Party, which was a really good song. Might be my favorite song on the album. Fucked Up World and Waiting for a Friend. And then the deluxe version has acoustic versions of Going to Hell and Sweet Things. Um, but I really enjoyed all the, all the songs. Again, Sweet Things I had an issue with, but... Uh, there's really good, uh, Burn is a really good acoustic track, Waiting for a Friend is a really good acoustic track. Um, again, the opener was really good, the title track was good, Heaven Knows, uh, everything, House on a Hill, Dear Sister, all these songs were good. Now, the problem that I have with Sweet Things is the music was really good, and I love the drumming on this album. I have to look up who the drummer is, but I really enjoyed the drumming. There's a part in the song where Taylor Momsen starts like screeching and screaming and goes into like this emo death metal, whatever bullshit crap. I did not like that. The acoustic version that was on here I thought was better because it didn't have that in there. Um, and again, I don't have a problem with the music. I, I really like the music to that song, but lyrically, I just didn't care for that because I don't care for that. In music, I don't care whether it's this band or any other band. When you just start screaming and screeching into the microphone, to me, that's not music. To me, anyone can do that. It's not talented. It's very easy. Again, whatever you want to call it, uh, screamo, emo, death metal, I don't know. There's a hundred different dopey names for it. I don't like any of it. When you're just yelling into the microphone as loud as you can, that's not talented. And I know people will say, well, what about bands like Linkin Park? Chester Bennington could actually sing, and he didn't do that every single song. Uh, well, what about Pantera? Again, Phil Anselmo can actually sing, and he didn't do it every single song on the album. So, there you go. But I'm not a fan of that. You know, when I was in high school, that kind of music was really popular. I didn't like it then, and I definitely don't fucking like it now as I've gotten older. Because, again, it's not... 
It's not difficult. It's not talented. Um, if you want to show the world what you can do as a singer, then actually get out there and sing your fucking ass off and don't yell into the microphone. So that was the only thing that I didn't like about that al- about the album and the song. And then, actually, there was a couple of lyrics in there where I guess she was trying to tell this story about a little girl or a young girl, you know, being victimized or whatever. And there's a line in the song when the guitar player takes over and he says, I'll paint you up like a drag queen or something like that. And I'm like, I get I get where she's coming from. I get what she's trying to talk about. I get the story she's trying to tell, but I just got turned off by that. And this was in 2014 before all that got really big and really huge. So I don't know if she was just trying to be funny about it. I'm sure she was. I'm sure she was just like tongue in cheek with it. But I'm just like, yeah, I just, I don't get it. I don't know why that was in there. It just kind of, you know, my ear kind of perked up. The one I can hear out of, which is not this one, so I should be pointing to this one. My ear kind of perked up a little bit. And I'm thinking, okay, that's a little weird. Um, but the acoustic version was really good. And then the acoustic version of going to hell the title track i really liked as well and that was recorded from like a radio show or something because i could tell i guess i've been listening to music so long i could tell by the way that it was recorded and then at the end there was an audience clapping so that was done for some type of radio show or a little mini thing mini concert or whatever that's cool i I liked the acoustic versions of those songs i like the other acoustic songs on here i thought that was really cool it was a nice mix and there's a bunch of different st- stuff going on in the album, which I do like. Yes, it is a straightforward rock album, which I love. And I think that Taylor Momsen's voice really complements that. But there was a couple of acoustic songs on there. There was a couple songs that sounded more bluesy, which I love. There's a lot of the endings of the songs. It's like an extended guitar thing, and you could hear the feedback from the amps and you can hear the the buzzing from the amps when they're turning off and on i thought that was a nice touch so this had a lot going for it i again from start to finish front to back back to front finish to end whatever you want to say whatever analogy you want to use i actually really like this album i definitely will pick this up on physical i'm sure it's on vinyl at this point um because like the deluxe edition maybe there's On the CD, there's some extra tracks. I'll pick that up. But the little bit that I have heard of The Pretty Reckless, I do like. Um, This whole album was good. The stuff I've heard from the next album that I'm going to talk about, I really like as well. And I definitely want to jump more into their music. I Unfortunately, I have not seen them in concert. They were out last year, 2022, by whatever time you're watching this. But it's recorded in 2023. In 2022, they were out with uh, Hailstorm, who I also really like. Uh, They are not far from here. They started in Red Lion, Pennsylvania, which is not far. Uh, Lizzie Hale's parents actually still live there, I believe, so she comes up and visits all the time. I've never seen her when I've been there because that's just the luck that I have. Um, But she does shop at the record store that's in town there, but I have never ran into her because it doesn't work that way for me. But they were out with uh, with them, Hailstorm, and then their, I can't remember their name, but it's a group from Mexico. It's three sisters from Mexico. They have a band, and they're all really hot, just saying. Um, but I missed that show. So, And I don't, I don't think they did much this year because I would have seen it on my phone and stuff. But maybe they're working on an album. I don't know. But maybe next year, 2024, or by the time you're seeing it this year, if they're out, I definitely would like to go see them. Hopefully they're in a package deal with Hailstorm again, because I think that would be a great show. But yeah, I do like what I have heard from this group so far. I really enjoyed this album. It has a lot of things that I like. Um, It's straightforward rock and roll, bass drums, guitars, great vocals, some acoustic stuff in there was really nice. I like the bluesy stuff, because blues is, is, believe it or not, (laughs) blues is my favorite genre of music, and rock and roll came from blues, so there you go. And I love blues type of you know bluesy rock like cinderella is just a great bluesy rock band um more than anything else some of the great white stuff goes into that a lot of the bands that i love you know aerosmith led zeppelin uh even van halen got some stuff like that 
uh, cream. You know, that's the stuff that I like when you have that blues influence in there because that is where rock and roll came from. And some of that is in here, and I'm sure it's in some of their other music. And I can't wait to look forward to check out some of their other stuff down the road here. But until then, as always, thank you guys for watching. Take care. Uh, the next paid request, we'll, we'll split some videos in and out of here. But the next request for this will be their next album, uh, Death by Rock and Roll, which again, what I, what I have heard... I have really liked especially the title track. So we'll cover that in the next video or the next paid request here. And we'll talk to you guys later. See you.